What's up, guys? Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being part of this channel. 150 subscribers from the ground up. Thank you very much. I want to talk to you guys about self control. S E L F control. Control is a very important word. C O N T R O L. Control. Self control. A lot of things in life, when it comes to succeeding, it is dependent upon self control. The ability to eat healthy. That's all up to you. If you see a donut, if you see french fries, if you see a hamburger, you need to control yourself and not eat it. Look, a lot of us are not going to have the best genetics in the world. A lot of us aren't going to go to Harvard. I mean, who gets to go to Harvard? Who wants to go to Harvard? I'm talking about rising prices of college tuition, but I digress. A lot of us aren't going to be at the top of the bell curve when it comes to genetics. Like some people, some people can smoke all day, drink all day, not exercise and just have the best possible outcome and not get sick because they have genetics on their side. I understand that. That's the people on the opposite side of the spectrum. So let's talk about the general population. The general population, they have to, they, they have to worry about what they eat, how they sleep, how they exercise. They cannot drink, smoke, eat whatever they want. And that's where self-control comes in. Self-control is important because anyone can have self-control. Anyone can be disciplined. You can work on discipline. You can try to build a better body. You can try to build a better lifestyle. You can control your discipline. You have to work on it. You have to work on it every day. Self-control is a big part to succeeding in life. And the thing about self-control is it's available for anyone. See, your height is your height. Your hair color is your hair color, your eyes, your skin, your ethnicity, if you're right-handed, left-handed. There are certain things that we are born into, but self-control is something anyone can work on. Laziness, that is something you can control. You just have to find the right motivation. Think about a marathon, think about a triathlon. A lot of that has to do with the reward system. Like what is motivating that person to do a marathon? What's motivating that person to do an Ironman triathlon? If you can find the right motivation, you can achieve almost anything that you want if you find the right motivation. And once you find the right motivation, you'll have an easier time building your self-control. You understand that self-control is one of the most important tools you need to succeed in whatever you are doing. If you don't have self-control and you're eating whatever it is that you're tempted to eat, like the donut, like the pizza, like the ice cream, things that are gonna make you fat when you're trying to lose weight, you'll never achieve your goal. Okay, so now that we've talked about self-control, the other part to self-control and building self-control is finding the right motivation. If you think about a marathon, a lot of people haven't ran a marathon because they, they don't have the right motivation. Imagine if someone said, hey, I'll give you $10 million if you run a marathon. Do you know how easy it would be for you to run 
a marathon, it would be very easy. You need the right motivation. Focus on those things, okay? If somehow you're watching this, if somehow you made it this far into the video, five, minute, five minutes into this video, think about your self-control and think about what is motivating you. If you find the right motivation, your self-control will be stronger. All right, thank you for watching, thank you for listening. I'm gonna hit you with something that can actually change your life. Eat healthy, be healthy, sleep well, live well. And if you're watching, find YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys.